Hello and welcome, traveler. So, you've come to have a look around in our beautiful forest. What a good idea. Daddy Oak told me you were arriving today. Let me introduce myself. Sam, vagabond of the forest. And I know this forest like the back of my hand. Oh, watch my ears. I have something for you. I got this from my grandfather, who in turn got it from his own grandfather. Watch out, it's hot stuff. Oh, there seems to be a problem. Perhaps I should have tried the yellow one. That's it. Exactly as I had predicted. Attention, please. Important things are about to begin. This is the map that will enable you to find your way through the forest. Here's a camera to photograph the animals. The exit to leave the forest. The arrow, which allows you to backtrack. The album in which to keep the photographs you take and the plants you pick. The box to keep the objects you find in the forest. And finally, the help. There, you have everything you need for your journey into the forest. If you want more explanations, you can get help on the bottom right. If you want to begin your journey, you should go and see Daddy O, the elder member of the forest. He lives that way. As for me, I'm going back into the forest. Don't worry, if you have any problems, I'll know where to find you to give you some help. Well, see you later. Hello. Hey, don't make too much noise. My daddy oak is still asleep. You know something? It's going to be his birthday soon. I've got an idea for a present. My daddy oak really likes pictures. It would be nice if you painted something for him. Just stick your easel somewhere that takes your fancy in the forest. Here, I've got everything you need. There you are, like new. By the way, I have already spotted a few scenic views. Look. Come on. It's up to you now. See you later. There you are at last. I've been looking for you everywhere in the forest. You won't believe this, but Scatterbrain Birch forgot the paint pots were almost empty. And so you probably won't have enough paint to finish your painting. Luckily, I've thought of everything. You can make different colored paints from plants which grow in the forest. First paint as much as you can, then I'll give you special glasses which allow you to spot colors even when they're hidden.
Mm. Right. Here. Here are the glasses. All right. I'm going to tell Birch that it's all going to work out. I'll meet you back here to finish the painting. See you later. <laughs>
Wow. Great. That's it. I think I've finished. Now I put the last little touch. Perfect. We just have to go back and see Daddy Oak now. I'll wait for you there. Well, pal, any problem? Is the painting finished? The three of us really make a great team. Well, we just have to give it to him now. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy Oak! Hey, wh what's going on here? <laughs> what a surprise. Thank you, my friends. Oh, but what's this? You shouldn't have. Oh, it's beautiful. But it's the cascade. Oh, wonderful. But who painted this? Sam's little friend. Well, you're very talented. Thanks again, everyone. Come on. Let's take a little family photograph. Everybody, smile. You see over there, that's Orion. What? A lion? In the sky? Of course not. Not a lion. Orion. It's the name given to a constellation group of stars. Really? Friendly traveler, it's so beautiful tonight. What about a spot of camping? Sam has gone to pitch your tent in the mountains. You just have to catch up with him. Hey, what is that I hear? Someone around here wants to go to the mountains? So, my friend, you're the one, are you? Don't be afraid, he's an old friend. And an excellent pilot. Are you coming, my brave little one? No. The captain wishes to welcome you on board. Welcome on board. No. Would you like some refreshment before taking off? Please move along there. Well, Captain, I'm leaving you in control. You're in charge of takeoff. <laughs> He's got guts, all right. But we're not heading for the mountains. I'm afraid you must have used the wrong lever. Who turned the light off? If you could move that lever back, that would be great. Huh, we'll get there someday. Mustn't despair. Somehow, I don't think it was Sam we just saw. Come on, be brave. There you are, that's the one. We're off. Here we are, and everyone gets off. We hope you had a very pleasant trip on board our airship. Please take it this way.
What a lovely night. What a beautiful starry sky. Not even a cloud on the horizon. Uh-uh. I think I spoke too soon. Look. The cloud seems to be shaping itself into a... fish. I have an idea. If my memory serves me right, I must have brought... this. Here. Okay. We'll try to draw, as quickly as possible, the animal the cloud reminds you of. I'll explain. It's just like a puzzle. Amongst the ten picture pieces you're presented with, you must pick the four which make up the animal the cloud reminds you of. Select a piece of the picture, then copy it onto the board. Repeat this until you have the complete picture of the animal. Are you ready? Pay attention. Go. May the best man win. You beat me to it there. Well done. It was a kangaroo. Here's another one. was a caterpillar. Look, here's another one. You're too good for me. It was a giraffe. I'll get you this time. Okay, I've lost. It was a rhinoceros. Oh, well, it's getting late. I think you've drawn more pictures than I have. Well done. Here, here's a souvenir. Come on, everyone to bed. Sleep tight.
de Nase weg. Komm bitte an, Tor. Hab mal noch Geld.
demand an explanation. What sort of fuss about? I don't believe this. Oh, Dad. I was about to shave when I see this. Oh, what, a... <sighs> what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Haven't you ever seen a boar before? Oh, I'll show you. Oh, calm down. Do calm down. <clears throat> This definitely looks like one of our friendly fairies' new jokes. They just want to be playful. Oh, very funny. You just kill me. Oh, I'm afraid it's serious this time. I think they want us to take part. All right, friendly traveler. I suggest you go and have a look at the top of the tower for me. Hurry up, then come and tell me what you've seen. As for you, if you don't like your new colors, I think you'd better hurry back into the forest to try and undo the spell, if you so desire. Oh, I see things aren't getting any better. So, have you observed anything? Well, if you've spotted something out of the ordinary in the forest, why not go and look? Oh, look. 
up there in the tower. It looked like Sam. I think he's calling you. He must have planned to camp up there. Go on, I believe they're awaiting you at the top of the tower. See, I've just spotted a new constellation. This constellation is called the Dragon. It's beautiful. Oh, I feel tired now. I'm going to bed. See you tomorrow. Has come. Only you can still undo the terrible spell that Moro the Dark has cast upon the forest. <laughs> he dared awaken the fire mountain, and it can explode at any moment, burying all the forest in a thunder of fire and ashes. The volcano is in this madman's power. By the sole force of the crystals he keeps at the very top of the tower, he must find the position which will allow the tragic effect of the crystals to be reversed.
are wandering off the track. <laughs> Lord Hula's tower isn't this way. It's that way, near the edge of the forest. Go on and be brave. sculpture that represents the correct positioning of the crystals and draw it for safe measure. If all the crystals you put back in their place, better shall we be, for sure. beautiful morning. You had a restless night. You were talking in your sleep about a dragon. Maybe I upset you with my constellation story. Don't worry. Dragons don't exist. Come on. Daddy Oak must be waiting for us. Let's go. Hello there. Right on time. On the dot. Could you do us a very big favor? The little one and I were just remembering a promise we made to a friend. Listen, I'll tell you everything. Imagine this forest in the middle of winter. Freezing cold. It was near the sawmill. John, the lumberjack's son, and his mother were decorating a beautiful Christmas tree. While John's father was secretly making a rocking horse, a Christmas present for his son. But our friend's peaceful Christmas was suddenly interrupted by a terrible storm. The wind was blowing and the snow falling. It went on for days. 
as the storm dragged on and on, and as they were beginning to get short of food, the lumberjack decided to take his family to safety as soon as possible, somewhere less hostile. One day, this honest man was passing by, and that's when he realized that in the rush, he had forgotten, just plain forgotten, to take the present he had been making for his son. He came to wish me farewell. He told me the whole story, and I promised I would find someone someday to finish the rocking horse. There, I believe you are capable of accomplishing this task. Here, take the keys to the front door. Be careful, don't lose them.
Hey, hey, W. I bet you don't know the word for a female boar. Huh, huh, you don't know. You don't know. Uh, what about you, Perch? <laughs> how about this? Can you tell me how many legs insects have? <laughs> ah, no, no, you can't. You can't. Ha, ha, boy, you're dumb. You are dumb. You're dumb. Don't know anything. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, you're in your question. You're wearing us out. Oh, you out there, why don't you go and play with them so that we might get a little peace? Oh, great, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, follow me, come on. Oh, yeah, please go and play with him. Other... Otherwise, he'll come back. Coming? Oh, thank you. So follow me. Hey, I'm here! Hello! This way, are you coming? This is my father! Hey, Sonny! Tell your mother to come and help me! Yes, Dad! Come on, we're almost there! Are you coming? So follow me! This way! Mom! Mom! I found someone to play with! Hello. Hey, by the way, Dad says he needs your help. I'll be on my way. Above all, be good. Of course. Hey, are you coming? I'll explain the game. In order to win, you have to pick up four nuts before the other player does. You must pull the lever on the right to find out how many squares you can go forward. If you give the correct answer when you want to square with a question, you can have another go. All right. Ready? OK. You start. It's my turn. It's your turn. My turn. Your turn. Well done. Have another go. Well done. Have another go.
Excellent. You want a nut? My turn. It's your turn. Well done. Have another go. Well done! Have another go. Excellent! You won a nut! It's my turn! And the nuts for me! Excellent! You won a nut! My turn! Your turn! Well done! Have another go! Excellent! You won a nut! So, you really beat me. You're very good. You could almost be a squirrel. Now, don't go away. I'll be right back. I have the great honour of presenting you with the golden nut. Uh, well, you can just take a photo of it, because really it's Daddy's. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, you've come just at the right time, just in time for tonight's music festival. I suggest you go and spend the night in Jack the Weasel's Den at the sawmill. Just follow them, it's that way. Take your time and enjoy this wonderful evening. All right. One, two.
Hello, my friend. Welcome to my musical workshop. Nice of you to come and spend the evening with me. Make yourself at home. Behind you is the workshop where I make my musical instruments. On my right, a sound memory game. And behind me, the zoo radio. When you want to go to bed, come and see me. I'll give you a sleeping bag. If you want to stop, take the sleeping bag and good night. If not, on with the music. Secret Service Flying Brigade to Her Majesty Feminine Queen of the Ants. 
I, uh, I'm being followed. You must help me. Ah, here they come. Find me. any noise. They're after me. Well, I've been found out. You'll have to take over. Now catch. They're trying to steal the present the forest dwellers want to give to the queen for her birthday. But I tricked them. <laughs> I managed to hide the present in one of the chambers in the anthill. Trouble is, I don't remember which one. It's a proper labyrinth. Oh, you'll find it. Right. Your next contact is at the picnic. God save the Queen! There you are at last. All's well. The Queen's Guards have succeeded in stopping the invader, and from what I can gather, you have found the present. So, just give me back the case, and you'll have the privilege of bringing the present to the Queen. Congratulations, and thank you.
Please wait a moment. I'll see if the Queen wishes to see you. Fine. Let me open the door. Well, my friend, I believe it's time for you to leave us. I do believe the inhabitants of Forestia have prepared a little surprise. Just to thank you for your help. Sam, if you would. See you in a minute. Attending the Great Forest Party is a rare privilege. Yeah, I'd love to go. <coughs> Tell me, daddy -o, where is it taking place this year? At the sawmill, little one. At Jack Weasel's. Oh, yes. Gonna be good. Oh, if you don't want to be late for the party, you'll have to get going. Well, have a good time, and come back whenever. It'll be a great pleasure to have you back with us. Goodbye. Oh, sorry. I didn't recognize you. Welcome. Please, come in. Please. Ah, there you are. We were waiting for you to start the party. So, get the band going. Give us a note, whenever you're ready.
All right. One, two. Thank you, thank you, thank you.